What is going on everyone? Hayden here back again with another video. If you don't know who I am, I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur. I basically do affiliate marketing and drop shipping. Now, I want to jump straight in today and get into this topic because I think it's very, very important. A lot of people have been hitting me up, asking me questions, you know, showing me what they're struggling with. And I want to just kind of put it all in one place so that I don't have to keep answering that every single time. Uh, so people can just refer back to this video. And that is how to build a profitable Facebook campaign for your dropshipping site. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how I drive my traffic. And that's what I'm going to assume is the most frequently asked questions of people who are starting to do well, or at least, you know, making a lot of money with Shopify and dropshipping. So I want to answer that. I'm sure influencer ads are very good. I haven't really personally tested them too much. That's one thing I'm starting to get into. I actually did one yesterday. I have two lined up for today. But Facebook campaigns, you know, that's something I've always been decently familiar with. So I've just been testing that a lot getting that going and trying to figure out how to get profitable campaigns set up because once you build a Facebook campaign, right, and it's profitable, it just runs. You know, you can scale it. With influencer ads, it's a lot harder to scale, you know, past that like five hundred to a thousand dollar a day mark, which I haven't hit yet. You know, I've only been doing drop shipping for really a few weeks now, actually like getting some ads going, but I have two campaigns right now that are fully set up, profitable, starting to do all right. So now I'm just focused on scaling the budget for those as well as tweaking it to try and lower the cost per purchase, which is Kind of the biggest key when you're trying to scale that now the biggest thing that i see people mess up on is congruency now what do i mean by this that's how congruent is your actual product to the audience you're trying to market it to but everything in between everything in between is always always has something wrong you know at least with what i see when people send me their websites show me pictures of their campaign or anything right even the ad itself you know if they're building it inside a power editor then it says a sponsored post where most of my campaigns and you know, again this is just me everybody's different I do it as a page post for an ad only so it looks more native. And there's a lot of different things and you should always split test those. We'll get into split testing here in a minute, but congruency is the biggest thing, right? Making sure your copy lines up with the product, your audience. You have to do your research. The biggest thing I do is look at what other people are doing, right? If I see someone's ad more than once, I know it's working, right? Ty Lopez even, in any industry, nobody's gonna be running ads and spending a ton of money if it's not working, right? They're not stupid. So if you see something more than once, just know it's working. I'd recommend screenshotting that because then you can look back at it once you're building your campaigns. Now, but keeping everything congruent, you know, you want to make sure the picture is good and the picture is the same as the product that they'll land on right when they click it. I see a lot of people do this small mistake all the time. They'll have a picture of, let's say, like a, a black belt, and when they go to the website, it's a brown belt. Now, that slight difference, it really messes with people's trust. You know, just in their mind, all the psychology factors that go into that, you want to make sure everything's congruent. If they click on that black belt, that's because they want the black belt or they're interested to see it. They don't want to go see a brown one, right? You know, you want to offer that brown one as another, you know, color option to have a ton of different colors lined up at the bottom, but you want them to be able to select that, not you changing that without their approval, if you will. Right? So just make sure everything's super congruent. I love to use emojis, you know, I don't overdo it or whatever. Usually one emoji at the top and then an arrow at the bottom pointing down. Um, I'm not gonna give away too much of what I do for my ads, but the bottom line, what I always use is, you know, share with friends and family. Sometimes I'll do, you know, share with friends and family and drop a comment for an exclusive discount code. Something like that, whatever you can do to push more organic interactions is always gonna benefit you because if you get one out of 10 people sharing that with someone else and you're reaching thousands of people and some of those people will share, it's just the biggest tree branch that just goes out and you'll reach a lot more people than just the campaign's ad spend is, you know, directly targeting. Now, product description. This is something I didn't think was very important until I actually started running traffic and talking to people who knew what they were doing. So product description, super, super important. One thing I do wanna mention first is you're really only gonna have two or three products on your site that you're running traffic to, especially in the beginning. So I make sure those two or three core product descriptions are just knocked out of the park. The other ones um, usually just have a secure checkout thing, which again is something I wanna talk about. Always have a secure checkout badge, like an icon, inside of the product description because that's just gonna really, really play into their thought process. Like as they're thinking about ordering what they wanna do, it's just reinforcement, reinforcement. Also use color, right? In the product description, most people just have it very boring. You know, do some research on what colors are good. Always stay away from orange. You know, women aren't very attracted to yellow. Blue means a lot of trust. Pink and purple work good for women, you know, just things like that. Go do a little bit of research. You know, a quick Google search is gonna show you what exact colors people like, don't like, what the buying habits are based behind those colors because there's a lot of research that's been done on that because it is important. Now, but as for overall keeping everything congruent, just make sure they flow through every step of the process from first seeing the ad itself to clicking on it, going through your website, all the way through your checkout process. 
And even you know after that with the email follow-up, which is where most of your money is going to be made on the back end. And you really just want to make sure it's a very pleasurable experience for them because then they'll come back and buy again and again. You know, because a customer that's already bought once is very, very likely to buy again, especially if you set them through the entire process the right way the first time. If they had a great experience, then they're going to really want to do that again, especially if you're offering, you know, discounts, sales, whatever it is, and perceiving that as like them getting another good deal. You know, that's what's going to bring more customers back, especially on the back end through email retargeting. Now, one thing I do want to point out real quick about the actual ad itself and what offer you're pushing. I love doing a free plus shipping offer for a Facebook ad, especially for Instagram shoutouts too, which I'll talk about probably in another video, but that is the best customer acquisition strategy you can do, right? If you can get people in with free plus shipping and at least break even, ideally aim to make a couple dollars, then on the back end with that email list, you can make a lot more money. You know, if you're targeting the right people, your ad and everything is congruent, it's really not gonna be that difficult to get to the point where your campaigns are at least break even with a free plus shipping offer. Now, I'm gonna make more videos on exactly how to pick like what to target, which is super important. I see usually the targeting and the interest is the biggest things that people struggle with, besides just the entire concept of driving traffic and getting that to convert. So I do wanna jump in and talk about how I pick my targeting, how many I use, you know, am I narrowing it down, what filters, all that different stuff, because there are some very, very important things. But I'm gonna throw up a screenshot here in a second, and I want you to look at this very closely, right? Right here, this little box right here under your interest that says automatically expand audience interest or whatever, always, always, please, I, oh my God, please uncheck that. If you don't uncheck that, Facebook is gonna be spending so much of your money just absolutely wasted. And unchecking that box is gonna drop your audience reach by so much. You know, if you're struggling getting it narrowed down and you're reaching 7, 12, 30 million people, if you just uncheck that box, that's gonna go from, you know, I have a campaigns where it goes from 30 million down to two. You know, so you're gonna be able to drop that from seven to one, seven to 500,000, whatever it is. I am gonna make a video, like I said, on you know exactly what to target and how to set all that up. I wanna jump inside my computer and show you guys that. You know, there's definitely gonna be a lot more videos on this and a ton on drop shipping in general, but I just wanted to jump in here and get this content out for you guys because I think it's super, super important. And a lot of you guys have been hitting me up, you know, in the comment section on my last videos, but mostly over Instagram DM on exactly how I do my traffic, you know, is it Facebook ads, Instagram. And whenever I say Facebook ads, people always just hammer me with questions. So if you do have any more questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to give you an answer. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.